Doctor Who the Mind Robber, Episode 3. Jamie, it's coming straight up for us. Run, Doctor, no. The Doctor hangs on to Jamie and so his wrists. Jamie, but you haven't got a chance, don't you see? It's my dream all over again. Zoe, it's real. Doctor, no, it's not real. It's a legend. You mustn't believe in it. You mustn't. Say it doesn't exist. Say it. Jamie and Zoe, it does not exist. The unicorn stops in mid gallop and comes with a cardboard cutout. Jamie, what happened? Doctor, another test. Jamie, it was live. We all saw it. Zoe, it was terrifying. Doctor, he challenged us to believe it. Doctor, who? The master? Doctor, whoever it is. He's saying that all these conjuring tricks. Zoe, but I don't understand. Doctor, well, the unicorn appeared to be real until you said it wasn't. Then we were safe. Zoe, but we believed in it. Jamie and I. Doctor, yes. That was the da- just the danger. Your belief is affecting me. Do- Jamie, who, who would ca- think up a crazy notion like this? Doctor, I don't know. A fantastic mind. Control room. Doctor, too kind. And over me. I'd like to return the compliment. He's obviously supreme intelligence. He's learning the rules with animal speed. Yes, you're right to choose a good doctor. Blackness, Jamie, doctor. Zoe, the soldiers, control room. Master, stop, let them go. Whatever they run, whatever they do, every step they take will bring it, only brings them nearer. The trap is set. Let them walk into it. Tangled forest, instead of giant letters. This is a bear sh- there is, this is bare shrubs, thick cobwebs. Jamie uses slutter dash to hack a path through. Zoe? Oh, how much further, Jamie? There's no sign of toll soldiers now. Doctor, we've got to get out of this place. Jamie, look, there's a house. The red coat is standing in front of the door. Jamie, you, you again. I sort you out this time. Craig Atara. The red coat shouts. Jamie points back. Point. Shoots Jamie blank blank. Jamie, Jamie, Doctor. Jamie's a cardboard cutout. A blank face again, Doctor. Now it's all right. Jamie, oh, come on, come on. If you want to play games, let's go on and get on with it. Laughter. Zoe, who's that? What's that? A ball with Jamie's eye today, Kit. Face arrives. Zerta, well, I have to make up his face again. Zoe, you did this for? Doctor, yes. Zoe, that's how Jamie's face got changed. You got it all wrong. To the what? No, no, no. Well, I was rushed. Well then, now then, there we are. Zoe shakes her head at the doctor's choice of eyes. To the, to the, all right, I know. There we are. One, then, oh yes, then that's his nose. You can't mistake his nose. Can you? A doctor reaches her mouth and looks at Zoe. It looks at Zoe, she smiles. So he selects it and places it on Jamie's picture. Doctor, there you, there you are, you see? Doctor, Jamie, Doctor, Jamie. Zay, thank goodness you're back, Jamie. Back? What do you mean back? I haven't been anywhere. Say so you've got your face back. Sorry. Jamie, I have? Doctor, yes, look. Jamie takes, look, takes the doctor's mirror. Jamie, ah, oh, you're right, I have. Oh, that's much better. Oh, the house. So, yes, come along. Let's get in. Come inside. Jamie opens the scoffic, squeaking door. They originally trapped Zoe. Maze. This was... So no one falls anywhere. This is a rough stone everfest. Everfest where candles drip in walls, scrolls, a large row of cobwebs of the main decoration. There is a sound of dripping water from somewhere. Door creaks shut on its own. Zoe? There must be someone here. These candles are light, light. Jerry, hello there. These voices, his voice echoes. Jerry, one, two, three, four. Tunnels leading off. Jerry, it will be easy to get lo- lost in there. Dada, yes, just a moment. Jane, what's what you found? Dada, oh yes, a ball twine. Mm. Oh yes, this must have been, this must have been an invitation. Sorry, why? Dada, well, it's a classical way of getting through a maze. Now, Jamie, tie that to the door, will you? Jane, hey, it's locked. Dada, then we, when, what then we meant to go on? 
So, yes, I think we are. Jamie tries the end of the toy into the door handle. Zoe, but that means that whenever we go, any time, but that means that whenever we go, any time they know, Doctor, yes. Zoe, they're expecting us. Doctor, don't break the thread. Come along. Control room on the monitor. Three lights mark the progress for the Adabra Rift. Master, ah, at last, the doctor is commandly prompt. I wonder how long it would take him to get to the heart of the mystery. Tunnels have been walking for some time because of the ball of wine. It's almost run out. Dada, which way do you think? Zoe, to the right. Dada, they both look equally attract- unattractive to me. Zoe, but it may, it must be right. I've been working it out as we went along. Jerry, Doctor? Doctor, shh, now, how? Say, well, as soon as we avoided the dead ends, it soon fell into clear pattern. One left, two right, three left, four right. So on, it's simple, a horrific progression. Jamie? Yes, but Doctor, shh, Doctor, shh, Jamie. Doctor, what? If it had been an ephoretical, must have been an ephoretical ef- 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 brain. But what do they want? Jimmy, the Fred, the Fred's run out. Now should we go? We could not go back. Doctor, no, you stay here, Jamie. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Doctor, Doctor and Zoe, I'll explore. And, uh, and Zoe and I will explore a little further. There must be another way out of this maze. I mean to find it. Doctor goes right. Zoe, you see? They, they don't want us to find a way out. Only way in. So he follows the doctor to the enemy, starts whistling. Control room. The play shows they're getting close to the center of the labyrinth. Jamie asks her, go on, go on, they're almost there. Labyrinth center, the doctor and Zoe come out of the tunnel. Zoe, I was right. There isn't, this isn't a way out. We're in the middle of the maze. Oh, doctor, I don't like it. Let's go, doctor. Just a minute. I was rather expecting a welcoming committee. Perhaps I was wrong, Zoe. Well, I hope you were. Doctor, oh, yes. There has been someone here, not so long ago. Neither look, disarticulated skeleton. Sorry, oh, doctor, oh, oh, sorry. There's some, and there's some tracks of the animal too. Oh, doctor, let's go. Something big roars. Sorry, it couldn't be, doctor Jamie. Doctor, what? Sorry, well, well, I know it's silly, but do you remember the story in a minute or? Doctor, half man, half bull, yes. So yeah, he lived in the heart of the labyrinth. They were, they were human sacrifices, Doctor, exactly. But don't think we've need to be too long. After all, oh, the Doctor and Zoe have their, have their arms around each other. So as long as I like was saying, Doctor, as I was saying, as long as you're quite certain, the monitor, so he, Doctor, look, the shadow of a horn be Head falls across the wall. Roar. Tunnels, Jamie, Doctor. Are you right? What's happening? Jamie throws down the end of the twine and starts down the right tunnel. Immediately, a sound of clockwork soldier begins to fight. Begins, so he hides. One in the, one of the, the, one of the, uh, enters and stands in front of him. Do, Jamie, oh, so that's how you can, that you can see is, is, is it? Well, with all that, what with that wee lighthouse of yours, a vast affection watches as Jamie bucks down. Jamie takes off his jacket. The soldier leans forward to see, see him. Jamie puts his jacket over its head. Control room. Screen goes blank. Master, no, no, brainless idiot. Get yourself free. Don't get the boy escape. Forward, forward in the tunnel. The soldier tips head, tips his head forward until the jacket falls off of them. He reaches uh, heads off after Jamie. Deborah was said to Zoe, Doctor, it's moving. It's coming closer. Roar, Zoe, it's coming, going to attack Doctor. But Zoe, it's a legend, another mythical beast. Like a unicorn. Sorry, but it's there. Doctor, no, the Minotaur is a mythical beast. Say it. Sorry, the Minotaur is a mythical beast and it doesn't exist. A roaring stops. Sorry, it's gone. Doctor, yes, yes. I think we made it too difficult for it to stay. Come on, let's go and find out, find Jamie. Tunnels. Doctor, sorry, I think this is the place. Doctor, yes. There's no sign of him. I'm sure he would, wouldn't have done, gone off without. So he picks up the jacket. Sorry, Doctor, what's that? 
Zoe's jacket. Doctor, well, you must have be around here somewhere. Zoe, Jamie, who's that? Doctor, oh, oh my dear sir. Gulliver, your servant, sir. Doctor, you have a knack of turning up unexpectedly. Zoe, have you seen Jamie Gulliver? I walked alone, but I saw no sign of inhabitants. Zoe, you are absolutely positive? Gulliver, I am not to propose any falsities upon you. I sure, a dear, strictly to a tooth. Doctor, of course, this is, this person who chose this place, the master. Gulliver, the master? Yes, doctor. Have you seen him? Gulliver, one of the pong agents. Been pleased to grant me an audience. Doctor, well, may I find him? Gulliver, the master of the palace. His entrance is no one in the fist. But it's in the tall. A walled town of the town of a, at the top of the hill, or a cliff which is reckoned the highest in the kingdom, Doctor. Yes, I've now I understand. May I ask, sir, would you come? Would you which? Where do you come from? Would it be not not be Nottingham, Gulliver? My father was a small town estate. Has that small town estate in Nottingham, sir? I've third of three and five sons. He went on to Emmet. Sent me to Manor College, Cambridge, at fourteen years old. There I spoiled myself close to my, st- played myself to my s- close to my studies, learning uh, navigation and other parts of the mathematics. To then till useful to those who tend to travel, Doctor and Gulliver, as I always believed it would be, had to be. I believe, as I always had believed it would someday. Whatever my fortune to do, do. Doctor, now I know what, who you are, sir. Your name is Lemon or Gulliver. Gulliver, are you serious servant? Sorry, Gulliver? Sorry, Doctor, yes. I'm looking forward to a long walk with me. You are one of these, one of these days. Gulliver, I should like to, uh, at all of, 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 of all things, be, but it would not be proper at its junction. I trouble you with the peculiars of my ventures. Doctor, oh, I mustn't, I wouldn't dream of saying you. Gulliver, haven't you, you having been condemned by nature and fortune of restless and active life? I must take my leave of you. Farewell. Doctor, farewell. Gulliver leaves. Say, why doesn't he talk? Why does he talk in a strongly way, Doctor? Well, he can only speak with, with words. I you speak the words that Dan Swift gave him to say. Zoe, but that's ridiculous. I mean, there was never was such a person in the Gulliver. He's a fictional character. So, Dr. Coulsey is. Don't you understand it? That this, this world that we are tumbled into is a world of fiction. Unicorns, matadors, and Gulliver's trouble. They're all alive here. Zoe, what are we going to do here? What do they want with us? Dr. I do not, not sure. I understand that yet. I'm not sure I understand that yet. Come along, let's find Jamie. You better put this on. The doctor puts Jamie's jacket around Zoe's shoulders. Cliff face. Jamie runs out to the cave into open air, bursts on sunlight. The clockwork soldier is still lolling as Jamie starts to scramble up the cliff and where he cannot follow. After much effort, he reaches the ledge right way up. Jamie, oh no! I need to, I need to be human, to be human, fly to get up there and not, with that lot. I, I can't go back though. What I really need is a long pallet, plaited rope thrown down to him. Jamie, who says witches can't come through? The rope comes out of a new, a Roman style window. And a, and a round keep at the top of his kiff. As Jamie claims the soldier gave up leaves. Gives up and leaves. Outside the window, Jamie. So, so far, so good. Sort of a castle. So, sort of castle. Well, Jamie. Now, where? Where you don't come here? You don't have much choice, do you? Jamie. Puts on the rope, pulls on the rope, and your long girl, medieval dress, comes to the window, wearing pens all. Oh! Ouch, I suppose that, you know that hurts. Jimmy, you mean, this is your hair, Rapunzel? Of course, I don't object to people climbing it. I'm quite used to it, actually. But you, would you, 
Would you? So will you? But you would but keep tugging. So, Jimmy. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Rapunzel, are you a prince? The Jimmy. Oh no, Rapunzel. You're supposed to be a prince, but I'm supposed. You know that. My name is Rapunzel. You're not a what could have done by chance. Do you know I'm I'm son of a piper, Rapunzel? Oh, how very disappointed. Why, in that case, I'll make it. I think you'd better go. Goodbye. Jamie, your highness, wait. Rapunzel, why are you? Well, but, Jamie, I can't buy it there. Is she a drop? Uh, well. I just can't stand it. St- I can't, just, just can't stand it. Uh, yeah. I had to climb for the window. Rapunzel, oh well, I d- don't know if you be, were that really loud. Jenny, well, I can't stay, I won't stay long. You'd ask for, just pass you through, you might say, oh please. Rapunzel, it's a very great idea. Do you, is that a great pity? Rapunzel, oh well, I don't know what, that, if that would be allowed, Jamie, well, I'll be staying long, just pass your phone, if I say, oh please, Rapunzel, it's a great pity that you're not a prince, you might have made a rather good one, well I suppose you'd better come inside, for goodness sake, be quiet, Tittle, Jamie climbs in the white room, Rapunzel has vanished, Jamie, Rapunzel, your highness, where have you gone, don't be silly, I'm not going, Jamie lies down and comes uh, down a few some steps. Walks down some steps. A strange metal device is sticking out on the wall. Jamie, hey, that doesn't look like the This doesn't look like the inside of Princess Castle to me. Princess Castle to me, the lower room. A fantastic device in a large oil oval screen. Jamie switches are on. First page of theatre. Treasure Island appears. He's third. But I won't turn it off. And that's his switch is on another machine. Chris Fema, Christmas won't be Christmas. Without presents grumbled and lying, Joe lying on, lying on the rug. It's so dreadful to be poor, side Meg, looking down at her old robe. Jamie switches off the little women. Goes down over wall to wall. With a label flashing lights. Label flashing lights. Vanity Fair, Don Conte. A pit and pendulum shows. A ticker tape machine labelled work in progress rattles. Jamie reads it. Jamie, the doctor, Zoe, unable to find a companion. I in the labyrinth decide to run and turn to the cave in which to, in search of their him. Where new terror awaited them. Labyrinth center. Dot, I imagine there must be at least one more test. I wonder what that would be. Zoe, I believe you'll actually begin to enjoy all this. And then there wasn't, that, if that wasn't, that was more them before. It wasn't them before, was it? That is a life size statue of woman who with, with large black eyes, blank eyes, eight snakes around her neck and the snakes for her hair. Jane, Doctor, a statue, Zoe, like a unicorn, Doctor, yes, only a unicorn, was alive and that then became a statue. And this time, Zoe, what? Doctor, there, there, have a care, Zoe. I have a feeling the situation is going to be reversed. Doctor, Zoe, what, Doctor? Have a care, I have a feeling we're going to be, the situation is going to be worse. Zoe, I'm coming to, it's coming to life, the statue of snake hair begins to hiss and writhe. Dr. Misusa, sit at our, we pan for the labial legends of ancient Greece. Jamie's still reading from the ticket tape machine. Jamie, the doctor, Zoe, was face to face. Misusa, one glance of her eyes, and they would turn them to stone. Labyrinth Centre, Doctor and Zoe, and try not to look at Medusa as she approaches them. Doctor, now we know what we have to do, Zoe. Zoe, yes, she's moving. She's going to look on us. Zoe, do- yes, Doctor, yes. She, we do have, we, we, 
Zoe, but you have to say Medusa doesn't exist. Zoe, but she does. Dr. Zoe, Medusa is a myth. You believe in her. It's, it's her. You can turn us both to stone. Now, Zoe says, say, the matter of truth is all. Medusa's outstretched hand touches Zoe's face. Zoe, but she's alive, Doctor. No. Zoe, she's alive. Doctor, no. Don't look in her eyes. Don't look.